Having options in life is a good problem to have. Having choices, being able to go left, right, down the middle, around the corner, that's a good problem to have. However, what I've noticed over the years is that too many of us are crippled by options and choices, and therefore we don't take any of them. Or we take too long, and then some of them end up disappearing from our list of choices. So, do your due diligence, whether it's a next career move, consulting gig, school, degree, education, training, moving to a different state, country, or town, do your due diligence and research, and then make a decision. You're not going to know if it's the right one anyway, right? You're going to make a decision, well, you're going to know if it's the right one, but you're not going to know if another one was a better option, because you never took it, so you have no idea. But if you move to country X, then you're there for a year or two, and you realize that's not for you and your family, guess what? You tried, you gave it a shot, you move back, or you move somewhere else. Sitting in your current spot, if you're unhappy with the environment that you're in, and saying how you are going to do this one day, and you have choices and options, and you choose not to act on any of them, is not a winner's mentality. Do your due diligence. I'm not saying make rash decisions and be reckless and loose. Do your research, talk to your trusted circle of friends, your family, your spouse, your parents, siblings, best friend, whoever you have, colleagues you trust at work, and then make a decision. Put it all down on a piece of paper. What are your options, A or B, or A, B, and C? And then pick one and go all in, full steam ahead. Go towards that next option, that next choice, that next decision, whether it's personal or professional. Commit to it, do the best you possibly can. And then at some point, look up and see how it compares to where you were and where you really truly want to be. Is it getting you closer to that 10, 15, 20 year goal? Yes, you should have 10, 15, 20 year goals. So, as always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and family. And have a wonderful day. Make that decision, make that choice, because it impacts you directly more than anybody else. Have a great day.